The great thing about this dish, you can make it for breakfast if you're having a brunch with friends or family, have it for lunch or have it for dinner like we are. I've already coated our casserole dish with nonstick cooking spray. And this, this recipe is awesome because it doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients. Uh, the next thing that I did was took a tube of sausage. You know, just want to like those Jimmy Dean packages of sausage that's raw. And you just want to brown it and make sure that you get it into crumbles. While you're doing that, I sauteed um, green peppers and onions. You can do mushrooms, zucchini, yellow squash, whatever you want. And once everything is all browned and all of the uh, liquid and fat is drained, just combine it all in together in a bowl. It's going to make it a little bit easier. The next step is hash browns that are already pre-made. Makes it even easier. And the final thing that you're going to add to the casserole is your egg beaters or eggs, whichever you prefer. I went with egg beaters, southwestern style, because I had the peppers and I had the onions. So the first step after you coat the inside of your casserole dish is to take your hash browns that are shredded. Remember to get the shredded ones. And layer them down in the bottom of the casserole dish. You're not going to believe how simple this is to make. See how they're all layered down there? Pat them down so you have a little bit of room at the top of your dish. Next you're going to take the sausage and whatever else you've sauteed. I sauteed the peppers and onions and you can see the size. I like them because when your mouth finds them it's a nice little surprise instead of just hints of pepper you get a whole bunch in your mouth. So take your mixture and spread it into the casserole dish. Try and get the corners. You ever notice that sometimes you have a casserole and you get a corner piece and there's nothing there? So make sure you spread it out nice and evenly. And then the very last thing that you're going to do is take your eggs and pour it over the top. And the eggs are going to sink down into the hash browns. It's going to coat everything. It's going to kind of gel everything together. Don't forget the corners. And once you have all your egg poured in and everything looks pretty. You can put cheese on the top of this if you want to, but you don't have to. And, uh, oh, I did forget. We preheated the oven to 350. Going to pop this sucker in, and in 35 minutes, dinner will be served. We've already cut out a piece for Jay to try. So he is our official taste tester. 